This is a training video on how to create a help desk ticket at Compass. First, open up an internet browser. In this case, we're opening up Chrome. In your address bar, type the following cccakaceo1.compass.loco. Enter. You'll come up with the login screen. And then what you want to do is, under login ID, enter your login as you are logging into your computer. <coughs> enter your password. Click login. Here you will be taken to the home page of the service center. You have multiple options. This is the main page, which it has announcements that we might have, a knowledge base, possible links to articles, and all your tickets that you have created, and a quick link to how to create a problem. On the left-hand side, you have a link to download in which we might have files so you can download my computer tells you all the information about the current computer you're logged into, any license keys that you need for the software. Service desk is where you create your tickets or view your tickets. Knowledge base is where information is for prior issues. And if you've downloaded before, this is where your history is at. We're going to stay on the main page. And we're going to click on have a problem, report it. Here is your Compass Help Desk ticket system. You can enter a brief description such as need a new account for Teresa Jinx. And then you need to tell us what the impact is. Is it affecting the whole company? Is it affecting a group of people and they cannot continue or work? Is it affecting a group of people but they can continue and do continue and do their work? Or is it just one person that can't work or one person that was just inconvenienced? In this case, one person can't work. Teresa Chink. The categories are all listed for you to choose. Please choose the best, the, the appropriate one. They also have subcategories. For example, if you, when you go to account, the next subcategory tells you what you can choose. In this case, we're gonna create a user. The submitter is by default the person that logged in, <coughs> but you can also submit for another person if you know their name. The requested priority, top priority, high priority, mini priority, low priority, notifi notification only. This will let us know how soon you want it completed. In this case, we're going to choose medium by default. If you want to be contacted by your cell phone number, enter your cell phone number here. For example, 510-555-1234. In the comment section, a little bit more detail of the issue or what you want. For example, please create a new user account and mirror Janet Garcia's account. You can attach files if you want to. You can choose a file, any file that you want, simple enough, or you can paste a screenshot by clicking paste screenshot and then you do a control V and it will populate here. For example, I am going to paste my Epcor screen. Control V, 
add screenshot. Once you're done, you hit save. Your ticket has been submitted. You have a ticket number. It tells you when it was created, the number, your brief description, your category, status, and who is being queued to. That's under service desk. If we go back to home, again, it will tell you your ticket information. If you want to know more about your ticket, you can go to the summary description and click on it. And you can add more information if you wanted. Sorry. Please mirror jack track instead. This will update and give us the information. All that is traced, tracked on the system. Here it is. You hit save, and that is it.